um, I'm just trying to put some pebbles in the front yard. Um, <clears throat> you can see that, you know, like um, maybe in the photos, um, you can see that how it was looking uh, before. And maybe I'll just quickly show you, um, uh, you know, the uh, trees and uh, the plants I have removed uh, from the area. See, um, these are all the plants I have removed from here. Um, so you can see that there are like um, uh, bigger plants. See here, so all these are removed from uh, from this area. And what I did at the moment is I have removed all the soil from here, the top soil to make, um, make you know, like around maybe 175 mm or 100 mm, 75 mm actually, uh, depth. Um, around the concrete and pathway area and I made it I made it flat you know um, um, you know you can get um, you can get um, some scrapers type of things from uh, bundings to make it flat but make sure on the edges and all um, it's at least 50 to 75 mm okay otherwise the pebbles will uh, pop up and also uh, as my home has a termite barrier we can see the termite barrier here so uh, make sure the pebbles won't um you know um pop up over that um you know like um it, it, it's not safe so um so what i did is i have removed a bit more uh, soil around that area so if i put the pebble it won't uh, go over the uh, termite barrier the next process is to uh, put the weed mat in we can get weed mats from uh, bunnings and uh, this is this will help us in future when the pebbles put in uh, the uh, it will avoid weeds uh, coming through pebbles and uh, you know uh, it, um, it helps us to um, maintain it neatly every time so put the weed mat um, around the area we maintained or flat you know we made flat so that that area we maintain it sorry uh, arrange it properly and uh, see that uh, roof water area cover it properly so that the weed won't come um, through that and um, um, also every corners um, arrange it neatly if possible just uh, bend and uh, slide a little bit outside so that um, you know it, weeds won't come through that area uh, the, the next process is to uh, get the pavers in um, so we have to calculate um, the width wise and uh, width and for example in my case um, I have I have 40 by 40 centimeter uh, pavers so I have divided in such a way that uh, the pavers comes in the middle so you can see the lines I have marked through uh, marking tapes so uh, that, that that's easy um, you can calculate so basic calculations so um, these pavers will also help us to reduce the um, pebbles because pebbles are very costly so each one bag cost around 20 dollars and 20 kilo bag and you won't you won't see it much so um you know the area reduces for pebbles and uh, this is the pebbles so it's a, i have used two to three centimeter white stone and outdoor pebbles and um you know i have used around 15 of them so add the pebbles um as wide as possible and uh, at least you know you should try to uh, put the pebbles in such a way that um, uh, you won't see um, uh, through it. So um, I have used, as I said before, I have used around 15 uh, bags of pebbles, which cost around $300. So that's the maximum expense. <laughs> neatly and, and tidy and um, you can see that the um, it, the uniformity I have maintained it's uniformly um, over the all area um, only thing is uh, you know if it's if the thickness is very low it will see through so we may have to make sure um, we have enough pebbles put in and around the paved area uh, make sure that it's um, it's also um, you know not showing the sand underneath it. Mm -hmm. 